was started almost 30 years ago by a few hardcore families that found this absolutely fantastic plot of land uh, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of Samaria. And from the beginning, a Lee was planned as a mixed settlement, which is in our area is uh, quite uh, quite different because Male Levona, Ofra, Betel, Male Michmas, Psagot, all these settlements, they are settled by the religious families and consist only of religious population. Unlike a Lee, which from the beginning was planned as a mixed settlement, meaning people who are not religious, not observant, and want to live here are more than welcome. And together with the families who do keep Shabbos and keep mitzvot and to whatever religious extension that they want to keep it. And today, Baruch Hashem Ishtabach Shmo we are 800 families and growing. So we do have the land, we do have the capability of absorbing new families. We do have the infrastructure, which means the roads, and the electricity and the water supply, uh, kindergartens, schools, uh, Knesset, um, anything that will uh, be elevating the standard of living of the new family moving in here. So the settlement uh, in the future does have a plan for a hotel. We do have a plan for retirement home. Who knows, maybe even a hospital. Um, so in the area that belongs to Ailey in circumference, we're about 15 kilometers. So as far as the land goes, all we need to do is just to get the families to come here, to build, to grow with us, and to see their future as part of our community. So come and join us. Hi, we are in Ailey in memorial for those that were killed during the Second Intifada and the Lebanon War. Here's the name of Roy Klein, the one that jumped on the grenade to save his uh, fellow comrades. Gilad Zusman, Amichai Merchavia, the son of the founding father of uh, Ailey, and Eliraz Peretz that was killed already after the Second Lebanon War. These are the, uh, the people that were died in the Second Intifada. They were obviously part of our settlement. A little pergola. These are the caravans that were brought up here um, about 10 years ago. Um, yeah, this is like already newer area. Uh, because young couples wanted to settle, they still wanted to be part of the settlement, of the main settlement, and yet they wanted to be pioneers. So this area is strategically very important to Ailey because we sit on the hill. And, uh, and these houses are obviously the newer additions. They're about six, uh, six years old. Uh, all have been sold. Now, if you look up, you will see all the new buildings we actually took pictures of way before. These are brand new houses. From the entrance to Ailey, you can see all the beautiful, stunning new buildings that are being built. They're overlooking the stunning view of the valley which leads to Shiloh. They're right at the entrance to Ailey using white Jerusalem stone. They're about 100 square meters on the inside, perfect for an average size family from three to five bedrooms. One of the first things that when Jews start a town that they prepare is actually a cemetery. Cemetery symbolizes that we're here forever and ever. Unfortunately, in Gush Katif that was not the case, but here we strongly believe that the resting, final resting place for the Jew needs to be not only well taken care of, it needs to be beautiful, it needs to be peaceful, it needs to be very respectful with kavod. Our uh, cemetery is divided into two parts. 
we have for the normal everyday folks and then we have in the army area which is you can see right here this is where we hold um, the memorial day ceremony when the flag is brought down uh, to half a torn when uh, the candles are lit the whole area is obviously packed with people that come here to and to remember our fallen soldiers Thank you. 